we have a Labor majority here in the UK. The exit poll results have just been announced and I can bring them to you now. 410 seats for Labor, 131 seats for the Conservatives. Uh, we're also hearing that there are 13 seats for the right-wing Reform Party, uh, as well as um, <clears throat> 61 for the Liberal Democrats. Uh, so those are the early exit poll results here in the UK. Uh, to win a majority, the Labor Party needed 326 votes, but tonight we're hearing 410 from that exit poll. The results are, are in from that exit poll just as uh, actual votes are starting to be counted across this country. Uh, so you might be wondering, how do we have this result already? Uh, well, this exit poll is something that is put together uh, by the major broadcasters in this country uh, and put together by statisticians and political scientists. There is an awful lot of science that goes into this. What happens is that at about 130 polling stations across the country that are spe specifically chosen uh, when people leave that polling station after ca uh, casting their actual vote, uh, they're asked by pollsters to uh, cast another vote for this exit poll. Uh, and then those votes are called in by phone uh, to a secret centre where there's a group of statisticians and political scientists working together. Uh, they're building a picture with current and historical data and previous results. Uh, to build that picture of what the result may be and it's been incredibly accurate in past years. Uh, five years ago the Boris Johnson majority was just six seats off between the exit poll and the actual result. Uh, so just repeating yeah. the breaking news here from the UK tonight that the Labor Party uh, according to exit polls has 410 seats to the Conservatives 131. Uh, it is more than the, the majority for the Labor Labor Party uh, is more than 144, which was what Margaret Thatcher's majority was in 1983. Certainly more than 80, which was Boris Johnson's majority back in 2019, uh, but not uh, as big as that of uh, Tony Blair back in 1997. Uh, and all the uh, votes will now be counted over the coming hours, uh, and we will have um, all those results through for you throughout the morning and today. Yeah, not quite uh, reaching Tony Blair's but a big result uh, anyway for the Labor Party if the results bear out to these exit polls. Breaking news, Sakir Starmer, if the exit polls are correct, is now the UK's new Prime Minister has tweeted, and I'm quoting directly, to everyone who has campaigned for Labor in this election, to everyone who voted for us and put their trust in our change Labor Party, thank you. Uh, th there are no two ways about it. And again, if the, if the result bears true to these exit polls, Ms Zoe, this is a repudiation wholesale for the Conservative Party. Mm, absolutely. After 14 years of Conservative government, Michael, uh, the voters here in the UK have resoundingly voted for change. Uh, Sir Keir Starmer is not the most popular leader by any stretch. Uh, he's perhaps the least unpopular one that the voters had to choose from. Uh, but this really must be seen as a rebuke for the Conservative government here. Uh, Sir Keir Starmer became the leader here only in 2020. Uh, and in that time, there have been three Tory prime ministers. Uh, there have been a number of scandals that have rocked the Tory as well, including uh, during COVID-19 when Boris Johnson and other Conservatives and members uh, of his staff uh, were having parties when the rest of the country was in lockdown. Uh, there was the mini budget by um, Theresa May. Uh, so Keir Starmer really just sat back uh, and was just cautious throughout this period uh, when he took over with the Labor Party. Uh, he wound back some of the more controversial Labor parties. He's seen uh, Labor policies, I should say. Uh, he's seen as a more centrist leader. Uh, and throughout this campaign, he's just been repeating his message day in, day out to the people of this country that if you want change, you must vote for it. Uh, there was a prediction of a super majority for the Labor Party uh, and that's a word that uh, the Conservatives were using uh, Labor said to try to scare people to not go to the polling booths uh, but that clearly has not uh, happened people have turned out to uh, vote for Labor today with that uh, a majority of about 170 410 Labor seats uh, not as big as Tony Blair's majority there in 1997 uh, but an incredibly uh, powerful result after 14 years of Conservative government here uh, and so Sakia so Starmer will now have the keys to number 10.